All right, run three. It's run three. So as you can see right here, I've already kind of gotten some of the characters. Not all of them. I've gotten like I think like the basic ones plus the bunny. I actually don't remember what I did to get the bunny. I don't even remember what I've done in this game. All I remember is that it was that it was good. I used to play it a lot, and I kind of just went back to it like a year ago, and now I'm coming back to it again. Uh, I th oh, oops. I think if I'm correct. Yeah, I know. I already, I'm already done with the base levels, but I do have to do the other tunnels, I think is what they call it. Yeah, low power tunnel. I'll start with the winter games, I guess. So it seems like the, uh, these ones are just kind of like ice bases. They're actual ice physics. I don't freaking remember. I used to play this a lot when I had like free time in class because it was on an unblocked games website. I, I don't think... I'm pretty sure that website isn't up anymore. It got blocked, I'm pretty sure, actually. Because I tried checking back on it, like, a while ago, and it didn't work. If you see, these ramps actually do kind of help. Uh, okay, not right there. I feel like being the skater would actually help a lot more. I'll, I'm gonna switch. Right here. I'm gonna switch to the skater. Wait, actually, hold on. Uh, can I, uh, look at the shop? Yeah, no, there's, like... I'm pretty sure there's character. Yeah, you can unlock characters from beating tunnels. So you, can I remember having these guys unlocking the winter costumes and the Halloween costumes. Yeah, I don't remember getting the Halloween one, but I do remember the winter one. I had this game on mobile. I remember correctly. I never got all the other characters. So I'm gonna try to do that. Well, I probably won't, considering I don't have that many. Like, I don't know what that is. Like some sheep. Unlock the child. Okay. I'll try to get the winner one today, and I'll see if we can do the low power one some other time. If you guys want to, I can do like another part of this. Yeah, yeah, I get a lot more like speed. Okay, I don't usually play as a skater. I usually just stick to the regular runner because sometimes I feel like the skater is a bit too fast for some levels, and sometimes I feel like. But I also don't want to get really slow, so I don't pick the lizard guy. I don't remember what the bunny does. I might switch to him then in a bit. Oh, what the heck? Okay, this one's a bit freaky. Oh, I found another- okay, I swear to god, how many tunnels are there? W. This one doesn't even have an actual name, it's just W. I've played, like, this game and, like, Run 2. I haven't played the original version of Run. This one's the, relatively the best one out of all of them. One thing that Run 2 did have that Run 3 doesn't usually have is, like... I mean, Run 3 has boxes, but, like, Run 2- oh my god, I suck. Run th 2 had, like, these boxes that you could, like change uh, i was gonna say gravity but i guess direction on well run three is usually more more so like the the level itself you can kind of change like the direction of the level but you could also do that with run two and there was like actual like there's like platforming like this but like the platforms weren't like completely flat they, they would actually have like more depth to them. But yeah, no, that was something that I liked Run 2 for. I know that this game is on, like, Congregate or something, but... And I could get, like, free stuff from playing it on Congregate, but I don't want to. Mostly because I have to have an actual, like, online Flash media player or something, and I don't want to get that. Is it because I'm lazy? Probably. I keep accidentally going on the ramp! I keep going on the ramp by accident, and it keeps screwing me over. I might actually just straight up switch to the... to the... to the... I almost said the bunny. No, maybe the lizard. Because that one honestly be kind of helpful here. Or maybe I just have to be switching platforms quicker. One thing that I always used to do is try to get in as much, like, progress on run 3 before, like, class ended. When we actually had free time before, like, class ends. I always used to try to get as much progress done on it. You and my friends used to, like, play this crap, like, competitively. Or I guess it seemed like a competition. Because we were just trying to finish it as fast as possible. Uh, I kind of, like, took a break from the game, though, so literally everyone else beat it before me, but it doesn't even matter, because I, I don't remember if I ever did beat every single tunnel or not, unless it's blocked now, actually, so I can't even check it if I, if I had my school computer here, but whatever. I'm already getting bored of this tunnel, let's go to, I guess, low power, which is the next one, yeah, we'll do low power. The Frick? Okay, it keeps like okay. I guess that's the where the yep, that's where the low power comes in. Eh, I see. I thought that was like a graphical glitch, like the game just fucking out. 
Oh, okay. No, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. I can already tell. This is going to suck. This is actually going to suck. If I cannot see the platform. I guess besides like the little like the light, the light um colored plat part of the platform, you can kind of like tell from seeing where the where the stars are getting blocked. Let me get like the background. Oh, this one like kind of like flickers on and off. Okay, I see. All right, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, what the heck? Oh, you don't even have to jump. Oh, you could act. There's actually like a platform here. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Don't jump at part five of the. Okay. Wait, is it actually even possible to not jump? This is part five, right? How do you? How does someone beat this without jumping? How would you? Oh wait. I see that. Well, I don't. Yeah, no, I see that. I see that. I see that. Wait. I'm about to do an epic technique. Wait, what? Was I just seeing things? There wasn't any on that side. Were there literally no platforms besides like the light colored ones? Because I literally couldn't see. Oh, wait, I see this. I too am a gamer. Oh. Sure, so I'm good at this game. Kind of, actually. I don't know. I haven't seen. Is there like a esports team for like a run three? Because if so, I want to see like I want to see like Ninja, Ninja Fortnite, playing a run three. I feel like that'd be something. I jumped too early. I can't, dude. I literally cannot see like the whatever. I'm thankful run three isn't one of those mobile games that kind of resorted to doing those stupid ads because I see way too many of them now. Oh my god, I see way too many of them nowadays. And they're really freaking annoying. Like, I know it's already been said before, but mobile games have really, like, fell off hard. I think it's because of, like, Vo this, like, company called Voodoo Games. I feel like the first game that I really saw from them, at least in, like, the style that most mobile games are, are in nowadays, is, like, Aquapark.io. And I mean, I'm not even gonna lie, that game's actually not that bad. I do like playing it. Uh, I obviously, it's laggy sometimes because of... I mean, it lags for some reason. I don't know why, because it doesn't it's not like it requires internet, because I'm pretty sure most of the people you're like, up against are freaking bots. That's one thing with a lot of, like, of those, like, types of mobile games. They, they're, they like, oh, crap. They, they, they're, like, online, kind of. They're, it's, like, actual, like, matches, but it's not against actual people. You can tell that most people are, like, bots, either because of their name or, like, the way that they play it. Oh god, oh, there, there. The way that they actually play. This is okay. Well, this video might as well just be called me playing Run 3 while I'm freaking like off on tangents because that's literally what I'm good for is just like talking. Not like, I first just, I mean, like, not particularly talking, but like, I don't know why it's easier for me to talk like this more than it is to actually talk to a person. I don't understand. Oh, crap. Wait, can I turn back on? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm starting to see the way. Oh my god. There's like ramps. Oh, wait, it's actually useful. Come on. Okay, there. Uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, no, like, uh, Aquapark.io is actually a really cool game. I, or not cool, but I guess enjoyable game. Uh, I play it from time to time. It's, it it kind of, well, I guess, like, the reason they want you to have internet on some, most of the time is because of the ads. I don't know if games give you ads without internet, which is why a lot of games are. Even if they're not online, they kind of require you to have internet. Like, I know even Sega did that with their whole, like, Sega Forever thing that, that kind of went on, like, a couple years back. Uh, you kind of had to have, like, internet because, because it was like, you play the game for free, but you have to watch ads unless you, like, pay a certain amount. But yeah. Thankfully, I already, uh... I saw my old one. I already, oh, I already had the paid versions of the games. I'm pretty sure it kind of like transferred, but that, but then I got to my old phone, and then I had to use a new Google account, and I was like, oh crap. I still, I did still play like Sonic, Sonic 2 Classic, but I had to do it with freaking ads. Something that I always did on Sonic 2, uh, on mobile when I was younger, is always just go into the debug uh, menu. I always just did debug mode and just kind of like screwed around. I just put a bunch of uh, supersonic monitors down kind of just like went through all of them and kind of just i don't know i did a cool thing i also did that with a uh when i learned how to use emulators i got sonic 3 on there i did that with sonic 3 and, and 
uh, in Knuckles. And I went to, I literally went to Mushroom Hill Zone. And then I put down a bunch of supersonic monitors. And then I went through all of them. And then the game reset. But like the, I'm pretty sure the title, I'm pretty sure this is what I did. So I went through all of them, the game reset for some reason. And then instead of having the Sonic 3 and Knuckles title screen, it just had the Sonic and Knuckles title screen, which literally I did not understand why it did that. Uh, I don't know. I watched the video on it and it was like a glitch of some kind, which was cool because I, I mean, I've watched like glitch videos on Sonic 3. I know about like the blue Knuckles glitch and all that. I also know about like the Shura glitch in Sonic 2, which I never did that one because it wasn't on mobile. But, uh, yeah. I also had that, uh, at games console. Like, the really cheap, stupid, like, horrible, freaking, at disgusting at games, uh, little plug and play thing. It sucked, honestly. Like, the game overall is, like, the game, overall playing the games is fine. It's just, like, one iconic thing about, like, uh, old Sonic games is the music. And you can't really enjoy that because it has a horrible, like, audio, uh, I guess quality, I don't know. But, the, like, the like the way it sounds is just really, really off. It's just really, really sad. If you want to actually, like, play the games, just get, like, a... I don't know, just, like, before the Sega Genesis Mini came out. And even now, I don't I don't even have that one, because I, I don't know. I might get one at some point. I actually don't know. But, yeah. Overall, this tunnel has not been too much of a hassle to get through, now that I'm looking at it. I'll check what part I am on. Actually, yeah. Part 18. It's part 18. I, do you remember? There was one stage. I don't know if it was on the low power tunnel or if it was another tunnel. It was really freaking annoying to get through. Actually, it might just be this one. This one's actually taking me a bit. But, like, it was really annoying to get through. And it took me, I think, about, like, half an hour to get through, which wasted a lot of my own free time but whatever overall oh my god i dude i have to stop going for that one either that okay i might as well just turn the lizard dude if i can't beat it like this because i'll get more jump hide out of that okay this game sucks you know what i'm gonna turn into bunny man what what is what do they do wait what oh he jumps automatically okay he does like little hops but if I, like, hold down the space bar, he, like, he jumps higher. Okay. Oh, it's like a double jump for some reason. Oh, it was on that one. Oh, that's weird. Uh, you still have, like, some control over your jump, though, if you, like, and, like, time it. Oh, okay. I'm switching the Lizard Man to beat this freaking stupid level. After this level, I'll switch back, probably, to the runner. Right, going back to... Actually, we'll go to the skater. We'll make things harder for myself. I'm switching back. Right, so this one doesn't look too bad. It's the classic, like, kind of like go around type deal, I think. There's like, always like a level like this I used in, a, in a run game. I remember Run 2 had one. That one was uh, styled a bit differently, though. I don't know if the original run game had one. How many How, ma how many parts are there in this tunnel? Because the original one has like 65. This one already has like 20 something. Which is almost like reaching like. There's like one third of that, which is uh, whatever. I'll go on like the light platform. Okay, never mind. I, 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 we're doing another tunnel. Uh, we're doing the box storage one. Okay, seems simple now. I feel like it might get more difficult. Judging by the thing at the end of the tunnels that says like there's more coming soon, it does feel like this game was supposed to get more updates. But I don't know what, what the last time this game updated was, so I can't really tell like if it was because Flash was dying or if it was because like a sad another developer didn't want to work on the game anymore which makes sense like sometimes oh, like, if you get burned out of a game just take a break from it or either that or just don't work on it anymore at that point i also feel a bit uh how do you say out of place because it, i don't know maybe because there's 3d models and most of this game is kind of like 2d ish and flat but whatever is there mods for this game by the way i know i saw that there was like an open source for it it's for like the game engine there was I want to know if that's the case or not. These levels feel kind of slow, actually. I'm going to switch to the skater, see if I can speed this up a bit. Oops. Okay. I'm trying to not hit the platform, right? 
All right, cool. Okay, now this one just feels like a regular level. Just boxy. Pretty sure I could just beat this one without going on any of the boxes. Actually, I feel like that's been the case for a lot of these. Oh, there we go. Oh. We're doing uh, we're, right, just lodge all the crumbling tiles. Let's, okay, I'm not doing that. Uh, I do want to actually. I should try to get some achievements because I know that can, that can get me like a. Then get that can get me more uh. I don't know, cryptocurrency, whatever the currency for this game is, and it can help me unlock some uh, characters. I want to see what all the characters do. I never unlocked, like, more than five characters before, so I kind of want to... Yeah, I kind of want to see if I could beat this level, I, I could probably do that, because I literally can't right now, dude. I'm switching back to the runner. I B4. Probably gonna get to B5 and then just end this uh, video. Alright, B5. Alright, we're doing this one. Uh, that? No, those... Okay, I thought that was ice for a moment, and I was like... I, okay, well, this, this thing is over.